Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the Arena Survival Action Roguelike itself, but modded, though, because we're going to be checking out the genetically modified Overkill mod once again. Let's combine two characters together, get all the positives and all of the negatives to make a brand new one. We are also playing a version of the mod that lets you just combine two of the same character together. So we're going to experiment with that today uh, by getting 75% less enemies and then 75% less enemies. It does not make it so we have no enemies. It just makes it so we have so much less. But they're going to become effectively bosses. So let's grab Laser Gun, Danger 5, and uh, yeah... So we're going to get 100% extra damage against bosses and elites, with, which is amazing, obviously. 200% materials drop from enemies turns to 400% extra materials drop from enemies. We get minus 150% enemies, but enemies have 500% extra health and 100% more damage dealt. So, don't get hit. But we also have, like, one of the strongest but slowest weapons in the game as it is going to be, like, one of the better tools that we can really employ for this. Look at this. Just, just, these poor guys. They're just trying to vibe. They're just trying to vibe. But it's going to get worse and worse as time goes on, of course. Of course. Uh, let's get some crit. We'll get our other laser gun. Laser gun. Insanity will be nice. But we definitely just always tunnel vision in on the laser guns. It's probably going to be an absolute joke for a little while until, like, we get to the point where more enemies do show up. And we have a little bit of concerns there. But for now, laser gun has the highest base. The issue with it is right there. You can see it. It's the attack speed, right? It has really, really bad base attack speed. So we're going to need to uh, get a little bit of that. But not that much. Because, you know... Not that many enemies showing up. Percentage damage could be good. Luck could be good. Armor sounds amazing right now, though. Uh, again, just tunnel vision in on laser guns while we are getting the guarantee. Okay. Lens sounds nice as well. It scales with a four times ratio the laser gun does. Good morning. Goodbye. I can't deny. If I get, like, a, a white flag or something, I will go for it. Within the spirit of this build, I am going to not take anything like a gentle alien or whatever. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. See, that's the thing. We're, we're getting to the spot where enemies are actually living. They're living a little bit. If that hit me, I do die. Like, let's make that clear. I'll take a weird ghost. Harvesting, life steal, all that. I'll take a harvesting this early. Insanity lens. Can't take an HP down. We need to get to the spot where we're eventually going to be, um, I don't know, not dying in one hit. <laughs> what a novel concept. Cyclops Worm will be really nice. But yeah, injection is going to be a no for me, I'd say. Ooh, okay. Enemies that shoot out bullets are going to be a little bit scary. Oh, boy. The moment I get the uh, the big tanky lads, it's going to be an absolute nightmare. Oh boy. Okay. 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 We're going <laughs> to we're going to be scaling to the part of the run where we actually have to try and it's terrifying. Yeah, we're we're, we're getting there. We're not there yet. Oh boy, but you're you're definitely seeing it about to happen. I'll take a lens for sure. Broken mouth sounds good enough. Uh, I take an attack speed, it goes a long way for us. I'll take a range damage, sure. Cyclops Storms. I'll take a Lumberjack shirt because trees get massively buffed HP when you're playing as Jack. Plant is great. We will prefer HP regen, even though I did take Broken Mouth. But I did that so that, like, I don't know if I'm one-shottable right now with a 100% damage increase from enemies. I'm probably one-shot if any, like, of those dashy boys get in. I don't think we'd get one shot from a bullet because they are innately uh, less damaging. Oop. That being said, still good to know. Get out of here. Ooh. Walk back into that guy. I think we're probably fine to not get one shot by standard enemies. The dash boys, it, it is tough. I, it's tough to say. Tough to say. Okay, uh, you know, 10 luck, I'll take it. Three range damage is pretty huge for us. Armor for speed down is fine. 
double laser gun is more than fine. Take a propeller hat this early. Laser gun, and then we just stop. We have triple, oh yeah, but we're, duh, we're Jack. I was gonna say, we have triple mini bosses. What, what, what are the odds? First of all, they're not that absurd. Second of all, they're 100% because we are, <laughs> technically it's 200% because we're playing as two Jacks. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's, it's weird, like, it shouldn't be that scary because there's really not that many enemies and I just have to only focus on not getting hit by like one or two. But the pressure is really up there because the hits are just so painful. Oh. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take sunglasses. We'll take triple regen. Eh. Yeah, sure. Crown. Wave seven crown makes me think that I should take it and get some harvesting. If it shows up, I grab it. This has innate piercing. Um, fine. There, eh, no. Piercing's not that good on Jack, let alone Jack times two. Okay, if we let any eggs spot, I swear, I will be sleeping at the wheel. Oh, well, I have to go down and get that, so maybe we will actually... Okay. All these super condensed little spots of money. It's nice and but also bad at the same time. Like they're also spread out because we have such a long range gun. But then they're super easy to pick up all of the money at the same time when we do indeed go for it. 28, how much armor? Zero. 100% more damage from enemies on danger five. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We could, we're probably not dealing with one shot, but we could be. I'll take the 10 harvesting for sure. 12 speed. You just take a free legendary, sure. I, I do think, for the record, I think Gentle Alien is a logically, like, pretty good pick. To help with the guarantee one shots. But I just, uh, yeah, I just don't want to go for that angle. So I wanna, I wanna lean into the meme. Baby with a beard is actively not that exciting today. Whoa, okay. So we can still kill that guy with one big barrage, even though he has a 500% HP boost. Oof. Just cause laser guns are silly like that. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Seeing all those big numbers come out and that man just kind of be like, yeah, and? Oh God, don't get hit. Back it the hell up. Piercing is doing a little bit of something something here. But these guys are indeed turning into like boss fights. I wouldn't be shocked if we killed the mini bosses faster today. Oh my, I can't get in. Ah. <laughs> uh, leather vest should work fine. Three range damage is great. Nuke launcher? It's cool, but it just it's bad. But on like I don't care about AOE today. It's such a weird such a weird situation. I'll take acid. I know what I said. Grab this. Metal plate could be good. We can take a head injury. Wave nine. If we were going to have a uh, benefit from our piercing, it would be on this wave. I mean, I guess, or last wave, too, you know. I definitely saw it be utilized. So maybe I should get pumpkin just for those situations. Okay. Get closer. Always make sure we're in range of something. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Back it up, back it up. Yeah, the enemy's health pools are getting pretty large. They, I think they might be, like, outscaling my damage. They're taking longer to kill than before. 
But that is a lot of money. Repost. If it came with dodge, I would take it. Hedgehog, fine. Three armor, sure. Range damage. Snail will be nice. Weird ghost could have been okay. I'll take this, fine, I'll take that. Another tree is good. We'll take little frog. Because more harvesting sounds divine right now. Ooh, vigilante ring for the next sounds good. Uh, wheat is fantastic. And also, it was a perfect purchase. I'm not a perfect... You know, fill in the blank. Um, bop, bop, bop. Oh, man. That's a lot of shots from a really damaging gun. Thank God there's not that many enemies. So it doesn't matter. Like, let me express how... Uh, you need to know how good Laser Gun is for this scenario. Like, I picked it on purpose because I just knew this would be a nightmare otherwise. The downside normally of Laser Gun is that you are kind of purchasing a lot of damage that you don't even end up really using. So you're left with a slow weapon that is overkilling enemies like a lot. Oh, it, like, it's a slow weapon and those slow attacks sometimes are going to somebody who doesn't need all that damage. So you might as well have like a really fast attack like or a middle ground attack. Oh boy. No such problem here. Vigilante ring. I'll take a recycling machine. Hunting trophy is not that exciting when there's a lot less enemies. I'll take a wheelbarrow, as silly as it is, because I know we got to get the harvest thing up sooner than later. I think we stop on that. All right, mini boss should die pretty effectively. Nah. Oh my lord. Maybe not. We do 100% more damage to him, but that HP increase is just... It's rough. And these guys are brick walls just standing in my way. Oh, boy. I think we gotta just say no. We just can't. It's too, uh, too much of a brick wall for us. Just gotta squeak out any of the... Whoo, any of the extra money that we can here. Please. Oh, my God. These guys do so much damage normally, so we gotta be really careful. The mummies. Ugh. Just, just don't die to the mummies. Just keep firing at them. Ugh. Take plant. Take some percent damage. Pick up rates. We need, we just need even more single target damage. Power generator, I'll grab it. Mushroom's fine here. Again, I said, I, now I, I, I'm i of the mind that I don't even think I want mouse. Anyways, we're not getting that many bags. Okay. God, I really thought that we would rip apart a boss, but like... It checks out. Like, they, they get the HP boost as well. Oh, man. No! Oh! <laughs> I'm, I'm probably fine, though. I have 56 health and 4 armor, which is not very much. We're definitely getting to the point where things are getting scary, though. Like, there are always enemies, and thus there's always problems. I would love some attack speed. To be clear, like, we usually needed a little bit less with Jack, but... Not today. Not when they have this much health. We, we need it for the raw, like, just pure DPS reasons and not for the crowd... <sighs> ...controlling reasons. Oh, my God. That was just a guy. No, I'm not giving enemies speed up. Are you kidding me? Fine, I'll take Tractor. I'll take Bean Teacher. Good old laser gun there. I don't want the damage down from Tractor, but I can't deny that, um, you know, when we already have Crown, it's going to be pretty good. And I don't care that much about our lifesteal. Oh. Oh, God. 
That is so much health. Wave 13 typically has a smaller amount of enemies. Which is good. We, we like the smaller enemies right now because we are having problems. Again, still waiting on like a... Um, Ooh, a white flag. Oh god, just back the hell away from the tentacles right now. They're they're just a pinata. And by that I mean no, they are just a meat shield. They they have they have some good loot in them, but not not enough to be worth it. Oh boy, oh boy. I'll take that for the price, sure. Attack speed, thank god. <laughs> I need some bad. Silver bullet, cool. Laser gun. Cool. Alloy, cool, but I am gonna take tractor as silly as it is. Oh no, oh no. You summon so many enemies, because you summon the same amount, it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh god. The hosts are summoning the same amount of babies as well. Like, it's good and bad, like we're getting lots of money, but by the end of this wave, the screen's gonna be covered in trash. Oh, ow! No. 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 Free me! This is this is probably one of the harder things I've done in Brotato. Holy crap. Give me some percentage. Uh triangle of power is probably fine. I can take bait because not that many of them are going to show up. <laughs> it's just the truth. It's, it's, there's white flag. I am going to take it. There we go. Literally one showed up. That's good for us. Okay. If we pop the host, we have to stay right by it. It's just the law. The fact that the babies take that... They take multiple host babies taking multiple crit laser gun blasts is unheard of. Oh my. I don't think we win today, guys. Like I genuinely, I don't know. The final boss is gonna rip me in half. Like I just I swear, I don't know. We're gonna have to start scaling pretty Oh, I let that guy live. I gotta let that guy live. I'm going to need to start scaling extra stupid. Money in the middle. Good. Uh, cool. Take that. Ugly Tooth is going to be nice enough. Little frog, fine. Wandering Bot. Could be fine. Coupon, I think it's still good enough. Terrified onion. Another laser gun. Padding? Padding? A lot of our money's coming from harvesting, so it's a little weird there. Wave 16, I also think, is a wave with not that many enemies. Notoriously one of the lowest enemy counts, if I remember correctly. Cut. Ooh, it's brutal. It started off so easy, too. But enemies have their, their flat HP scaling, and then they're getting the extra 500% on top of that. It's really adding up. Though our damage is finally starting to get somewhere. We got some really good... Oh, boy. Damage percentage perks. Whoa! 
Uh, do not get hit by a buff boy. Do not get hit by a buff charger. I would not be surprised if that could do 71 damage. A buffed charger doing twice as much damage? I would not be surprised. Okay. Not right now on that. Uh, tentacle's less good today, It's which sucks. It's such a good item. Okay. This is an uh, elite. It would be the chef if it was. Oh boy. I will say that's a really good sign how quickly those went down. Because that is one of the tankiest things you can get is a buffed up version of the mummies. Yeah, comparing that to the last time we fought a mummy, it's looking really good. <laughs> God, could I just please get Tardigrade? Like, uh, do you know how much mileage we would get out of Tardigrade today? It's like, the only thing akin to it is like getting it on Ghost. All right, so we're, we're like basically playing with minus 100% armor all the time. That's kind of a good way of thinking about it. Uh, it's not worth the 55. 20% attack speed is so good. Fine. Adrenaline. I have minus 22 dodge. <laughs> I mean, we almost might as well on glass cannon. I'll take armor up if I can find it, obviously. Shouldn't have done that roll. Okay, finally, we're like doing some respectable, chunky boss damage. Ooh, ooh, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad at all. Why was that not so bad? I, I know that that attack isn't as high damage. It's like, I think it does like bullet levels of damage. But I still reject how little it did to me. I do not trust it. I am not going to assume that that is how it's going to be. We've scaled. We've scaled really well. We might be fine on the boss. Seeing how quickly that guy went down, we might actually be okay on the boss after all. Just com like comparatively. If we would have had the chef first as our first boss, we actually maybe could have gotten the kill. The attack speed is so nice. It doesn't matter as much early, but by this late, we really, 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 really need it. No. Not taking a tractor anymore. Missile is fine. Like, I do want attack speed, but that trade is still good. If that, if that makes sense. Hell, if we get hit too many times, we're just dead anyways. It's way too late. Unless? Fine. Why even do that last roll? I don't know. Alright, we have Peacock, so they do an extra 100% damage. But we're gonna level up super fast. Yeah, we've kind of made them look like they're normal enemies now. This kind of just looks like a normal run where my damage is decent now which is really this run i gotta make it clear this run is extremely impressive like not not i'm, I'm not saying from like a, a gloat gloat skill skill standpoint i'm saying from a how strong this run is it's so strong these enemies have five times as much health as they're supposed to and they're dying this quickly 
So, like, this run is staggeringly good. All things considered. Like, we're rich. This is the perfect weapon for this scenario. Like, all the things are... Are right. Okay, that was, that was four levels out of that. So, that's going to have been worth it, I'd say. Fine. Attack speed, attack speed. Percent damage. More attack speed. All right. I'll take a missile, because percent is going to be even better. Take both of those, because I don't want to get one shot. Insanity's good. Another laser gun is obviously good. Ritual's fine. Well, that's it. No, that's it. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah, cards on the table. We are so killable. We are so killable, but we also do so much damage now. It's basically just kill before we explode. It's looking possible. It's looking very, very possible. Just don't get cheesed, and we're, I think we're good. I think we're good. Man, the bull was by far so much, so much harder than the final boss. It's always kind of how jack runs go. So I guess it should be twice as like that on a double jack run. That was one of the most um, interesting runs I think I've had in a long time. That, I was sweating. I was sweating there. And, and the thing is, it all probably looks like it's for naught because I didn't really get hit. Not once did I get hit by a thing that would have been scary. The only things I got hit by were projectiles which do like half as much damage as something else. If I got hit at any point by a big, large unit, I would have taken easily about 50, 60 damage. Easily. At, at late game, uh, we would have, with, with five armor, we would have exploded. I don't think we would have been one shot stacking up 87 health and getting some armor. Uh, I don't think we would have been one shot because that's why I built all of that so that I could, you know, die in two hits instead of one because that's a much big, like, much bigger difference to die from uh, two instead of one. But it, it may look like all that sweat was for nothing, but I promise you, I promise you it was. Just don't get hit, forehead, but yeah. Uh, alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it here for today. Double Jack. Uh, certainly very fun. A very fun, wild challenge. Um... I really, really liked it. Really, really liked it. I'm curious to see what other kind of uh, double up characters we could do that would be really interesting. Um, there's some that would just break things in half. Double multitasker does not mean 24 weapons, to be clear. Or does it? It didn't before. Yeah. You can equip... That's what it says. It's, it's not you can equip six more weapons. It's you can equip 12 weapons. So, like, there's some things like that. But weirdly enough... Uh, one-armed, I checked, is not scripted that way. One-armed can hold negative four weapons. So I don't... Which means that, um, weapons don't even show up in the shop. That's what I was going to originally do. I was going to originally do one-armed, uh, double one-armed. But don't, don't work. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check the channel. Roguelikes and more every single day. If you have any suggestions for combos you'd like to see, either a combination of two characters together or two of the same characters, uh, let me know. Comment down below. What do you think would be exciting and interesting to see? Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.